Hello, my darling. Welcome to Coming Home with Mama T. I am your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And on this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of our desires through mastering manifestation, maintaining a positive mindset, and living luxuriously. I am here to help inspire and guide you into doing the things that help you live the life that you desire. And part of that guidance is pointing out self-awareness. And I talk the talk, I walk the walk, and taking radical self-responsibility for what I cultivate in my life. And so I am going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to talk to you about frustration today. (laughs) Frustration, yeah. Um real real talk like i'm not always in the sunshine rainbows unicorns flying high disc whatever vibration i'm human yes i am human and i am perfectly imperfect okay and so and going through life there are moments where i am like not the best version of myself or what i envision the best version of myself to be so i notice i've noticed over the past couple of days i've been waking up either like a little bit like more exhausted anxious not um not in my like my best self not in my bubbly like let's like good morning good morning kind of like vibration all right i have not been in that space i've kind of just been like in this like oh i have to go to work today oh i have to do this oh, you know like part of it i kind of feel like is in this um this mindset of like I can see myself as like this bratty, like, I don't know, um, millionaire kid. Like, why do I have to like go to work when like I'm made for more or whatever. Um, and not from like, but like not like more from like a very angry, frustrated, right? <laughs> frustration is the, the name of the game, right? I am coming from a frustration place and not from a place of like, Thank you. I am receiving that. Yes, I am made for more. Yes, I am. I'm excited for what I'm creating for myself. And yes, it might take some time and I get to experience this other life and more lessons as I prepare myself for the next leveling of my journey. Right. And so I have to I have to be very I have to be what world (laughs) here. I have been very conscious about how I am utilizing my energy like it's like sometimes it's second nature wake up excited happy ready to go let's give gratitude let's do the things sometimes it is like it's work it can be work friend I want you to know that it doesn't it's not just like an automatic I am this or I am whatever we have to pay attention to how we move throughout the world and with that I have actually been noticing for myself um, how so many people are coming into my my vortex if you will that are kind of living the dream like not fully living my dream but living a version of the dream whether it be like their content creators and their spiritual content creators and i'm like well how how come they get to like live their full-time life and honestly one i don't know what their life is i i like i'm just seeing the the highlight reel on tiktok instagram whatever and and making a base assumption so i don't know maybe they do have a nine to five and they're and they're hustling just like i am with their business on the side who knows i don't know that but based off my assumption i'm looking at these people and i'm like well why do they get to do the thing these things and i don't get to do these things what is what is wrong with me and that right there self-awareness check because going down a spiral of what is wrong with me is not helpful it is it's one putting us in like self-deprecation mode it's putting us in victim mode it's putting us in a space that is not ready or willing to receive it's putting us in a space to really like align ourselves with being discontent it's aligning ourselves with being not successful it's aligning ourselves with being a part of the matrix the system the whatever that says that we have to be a victim to our experience right so what is the opposite of that like how do we pull ourselves out of that one 
paying attention. Okay, like I know I'm frustrated. Why am I frustrated? I'm frustrated because I am not living the life of my de my desires fully right now. I am getting so many random things that happen to me and I can be thankful for it and I'm getting signs and and I'm witnessing other people building lives like that. So like I'm now what I'm in, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous of other people's success and I don't know but I don't know their story I don't know how long they've worked for it I don't know what they've done um, and so something that I am being intentional about and practicing is as I see that taking a moment especially if I recognize that I'm being in that frustration mode is taking a moment to breathe and then proceed and I like okay fine I see you I hear you you've got you got this going on and thank you Thank you for paving the way. I, it's not that I have to say it to the other person or not, but like, you know, unless I feel very like called to do so, like, thank you for paving the way. Thank you for showing me this is a possibility. Thank you, God, source, universe, for showing me that this is a possibility. It's already been done. There is a market for it. Thank you for, for providing the experience of witnessing what can be so I can build further trust in myself and the experience that it can happen right it's a building trust that the experience can happen like oh my gosh somebody has already done it like they're doing it they're living it and they live a life and they're not like impoverished you know like there's like so many so many stigmas right like the starving artists or, or the the like the the dirty yogi whatever like all these like things so it's like okay well that's not the experience that's the opposite of luxury so i can't like i don't want that but when i see like oh well this person has like a luxurious metaphysical space like this had like the crystals are pristine and and the space is like mm, it just feels good and healing and like hey if you're if you want to like you know be one with the dirt that's that's your jam too there's nothing wrong with it but i feel like we talk about living luxuriously here and your girl's bougie so it is what it is so when i look at okay if I want to embark on being a full-time entrepreneur, um, I can look at entrepreneurs who like just said, screw it, left their full-time job and they are living paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I feel like people with a full-time job are living paycheck to paycheck. They're living, you know, they're scraping by and it's like this struggle. It feels like struggle. It feels like um, they are surviving and not thriving. And so I know that my experience is about thriving right i want to thrive i want to be able to look at my bank account and not feel shame i want to be able to you know hey let's go to napa sonoma whatever for your birthday and be like bet i got it i'm here let's go uh and i can that's another manifestation that i'll talk about on another episode but um honestly it's like okay we're not there yet Oh, we're halfway there, living on a prayer, whatever. <laughs> we, we are making it work. We are seeing examples of what it is that you desire play out in real life. So going back to the luxury thing, you know, so there was this time where I felt like, quote unquote, starving artist. And I would see all the people around me that, you know, they're, they're living the, living the dream. They're going full time for their art. They're going full time for their whatever. But like, you know, you go to their apartment and it's like, okay, well, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to live here for the rest of my life or whatever maybe it's a stepping stone whatever like not trying to drag anybody on any of the things but that's something that I am aware of okay like I don't want I don't want to move backward I want to move forward and I know that I've already cultivated a lifestyle that to which I've become accustomed to that I love and I am appreciative and I'm grateful of so I need my business to like match that right I need to manifest that I need to create that for myself I am that is the desire that I have for myself so I know what my quote-unquote freedom number is if you're not familiar with freedom number um, that is like okay like if you are someone that's going down the business track right so what would I need to cu be cultivating on a monthly basis to be able to pay all my bills have extra for whatever maybe even savings this is what I need to be cultivating and and manifesting for myself so that I could leave my job or go part-time somewhere else or, or you know like Put more focus in entirely on my business right like where I would feel comfortable leaving my job and being a hundred percent like an entrepreneur that's that's 
what I consider my freedom number, right? Maybe you're building something towards whatever. So, you know, really looking at your 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 finances. Maybe you're you're like, okay, well, I, I'm building a freedom number towards going on a retreat. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to go on this retreat and it's going to be like that. Well, break down how much is it going to cost the flights, the the hotels, the whatever, and, and create a space of like, I'm going to save. I'm going to take this much out of my bank account every or not my bank account, but my check every paycheck so that I can get to that number, that note that I feel comfortable being like booking the travel, booking it now, like buying them plane tickets. Right. So like what are we building towards and taking little incremental steps towards what it is that we are creating so with that going back to the frustration right so i want this i want this experience and it's not showing up for me frustrated <laughs> i'm not living the dream frustrated i am not and so when we we're there like in the not space it's like okay <sighs> you're right I am in reality. I, I am in this reality. This is my reality. And it's not in matching with what it is that I want to experience. So what do I do? Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Okay. Well, what is the version? What would the version of myself that already has it be doing right now? Okay. Do what I can. Do what I can. Okay. Well, you know, the version of myself that already has everything would have a morning meditation. I can have morning meditation. Uh, the version of myself that already has it would tend the garden. I can tend my garden. Uh, the version of myself that already is living this would uh, get some movement in this morning. Okay, I can get some movement in this morning. The version of myself that has this will would not have to go and like log into a computer and and, and do some work and whatever. One, I can argue that the version of myself that is a full-time entrepreneur would at least have to touch a computer at some point to do some of the business, the back-end business stuff that isn't as glamorous or as fun. So, like, there you go. Okay, cool. So, I, you know, my, that version of me would have to get on a computer from time to time and do some things that might not be super fun to do, um, but be grateful that, hey, I have a full-time, you know, I have a full-time business, right? And so I can say on the flip side, yeah, well, you know, I'm not, what I'm doing right now isn't focused on my full-time business, but hey, I have this opportunity that affords me the ability to work from home or um, take my computer and on, on a plane and go and work from somewhere else. I am thankful for the the space and the grace that it gives me to be able to afford to maintain the life that I have become accustomed to while I am creating a, a even better life for myself, right? So I get to be, I get to live this dream yeah i get to cultivate this dream i get to shift and change and and move forward in this dream and i also get to hold my dream within me um the version of myself that is already living this gets to decide where they're going next right they get to take a deep breath and sit and see like what could be better than this like am i is this the end game or is there something else that i want to bring or change in the world right I, we're always growing we're always expanding i truly believe that so they're at the end of it like okay i know that there's not always there's not going to be like a just psh, end into it all like the end is death <laughs> um tongue and cheek cheek like but so with that, I know and I'm excited to be like, okay, I've talked this frustration out of my body. Thank you. And I now get to move and remind myself throughout the day. Okay, there's no need to be frustrated. I'm going to give myself grace because I know that I am creating time and space for me to better experience and bring in with ease what it is that I desire, that trust that trust that that is the belief part of the the creation uh trusting ourselves and trusting the experience and i really am like implementing that practice of if i see something that is like oh i want to experience it i am going to say that is for me i am going to say thank you and and make sure that it's not going down a road of like oh why don't I have it? 
we're not we're not bratting today. We we are gratituding. We're gratting, not bratting. <laughs> oh, and with that, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching and listening. Please subscribe and share if you haven't already. And feel free to go to www.abubbly.life/slash luxury living to check out anything that we have going on right now. I highly recommend that you go to the Amazon favorites list and find any f- sort of fun trinkets that might suit you, whether it's on in your witchy lifestyle, whether it is business uh, tips and and trinkets and fun things or it might be something comfy cozy like this blanket hoodie thing i don't even know what to call it but it's in it's in my amazon favorites so um obsessed even and i'm pretty sure this head wrap is in there too so with that i hope you have a fantastic day a magical day and remember to maintain a positive mindset so that you can master your manifestations and live luxuriously